So what does Cipriol Nagarmotha smell like? So this is a note that keeps coming up in fragrances and quite frequently and this is a note that I've grown to be fond of quite a lot in my journey of uh, uh, you know fragrances. I'm seeing it pop up quite a bit and I'm enjoying the way it smells. So today in this video I'm going to tell you what Cipriol Nagarmotha smells like and also give you 10 Cipriol focused fragrances all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today I'm talking about Cipriol. So Cipriol is a note that I started learning about after I, rem you know, discovered, not remember, but discovered what papyrus smells like. And I find these two notes sort of similar, but today I'm covering Cipriol and then in a future video I'll cover papyrus as they do smell somewhat similar. Uh, they're from the same plant, I believe, or the species from what I've read. But I've never actually uh, compared them side by side as far as the actual ingredients go. So hopefully in the future I'll be able to do that. But to me they do remind me of one another. And it's something that I've read that it is. Uh, they have the you know similar smells. But today I'm talking about Cipriol as a note. And I've got those uh, fragrances. You'll find out what Cipriol smells like. At least that's what I'm smelling when I smell Cipriol. But before I get to all the information, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So do you guys know what Cipriol smells like? Do you enjoy fragrances with Cipriol featured in the notes? Because to me, I feel like I've seen it pop up more and more lately and the more I smell it, the more I'm starting to recognize the smell and I can instantly smell from one fragrance to the other if this note is, you know, present in a fragrance. And yes, it does have similarities to papyrus and hopefully soon, as I said, I can compare them as raw ingredients side by side to see what the differences are. But to me, Cipriol smells very woody, but almost like taking very popular woody smells and combining to create a much more unique smell. I get cedar, vetiver, even patchouli, and a little bit perhaps pine too all combined together for one unique smell. There's some aromatics and spice thrown in there as well, all from the Cipriol notes, so you'll get those experiences. And then there's this mustiness and a little bit of dirtiness with this particular note as well. It's very, very prominent. You'll, you'll recognize it once you kind of focus on this note and put your nose on it to kind of, you know, stand it out from other notes. But to me, it's a very, very dry note. It's extremely dry. And it's uh, this earthiness and dryness and a little bit of dirtiness kind of seems like you've taken cedar and you've chopped it and, you know, made it into a powder form. And it's like you've run it through dirt or something, like the actual dirt on the ground, you know, the earth and things like that. So that uh, is what I get with this particular smell. But with this one, I also get reminders of very old woody furniture full churches or libraries. There's that kind of musty, kind of damp kind of smell sometimes. Not damp in a way that it's wet because the, the actual experience with this note is dry, but the experience overall is kind of like damp. There's this kind of certain smell. I'm also getting reminders of oak barrels used at distilleries and wineries. Even the taste, when I drink those spirits or wines that have gone through these oak barrels, I associate it with the smell of Cypri. So sometimes it, I'm also mistaken for the smell of oud because sometimes I think there's oud in a fragrance but they're actually using uh, Cipriol in the notes. So this is what I uh, think of with Cipriol. It's a very dark note. It's very woody note. It's earthy as I said and it has those spices and aromatics come through uh, but you know taking those four uh, you know woody notes of patchouli, vetiver, uh, you know cedar and then of course a little bit of pine thrown in and a little bit of dirt and you get what the Cipriol smells like. So that's what it is. Did you know what the smell of Cipriol is? Have you compared Cipriol Nagarmotha with um, the uh, papyrus smell? I, they're, they're from the same species as I said from uh, what I remember doing research and when I look up notes for fragrances it'll say papyrus and I'm thinking uh, and I, I feel like I'm smelling Cipriol and vice versa. Sometimes I look up fragrances that I know I'm smelling Cipriol and it's papyrus kind of a thing. So this is something that I'm definitely gonna, you know, try and 
get you know raw ingredients or uh, you know the raw notes or oils to see uh, what the dis differences are because from uh, my nose smelling them and fragrances I feel like they're very very similar so let's move on to the fragrances and we're gonna start off uh, the list with this new fragrance from the house called liquid imaginaires do you know this brand they're a fragrance house that um, I used to see at uh, Barney's, uh, but of course Barney's went out of business. But here in uh, San Francisco, you can pick up uh, Liquid Imaginaires at ZGO Perfumery as they sell them. But this is Bet Humane, this one right here. And this is one that I'm really, really enjoying. It's a green fragrance in that it's got lots of woods and there's greenness in the background trying to scream through or come through. But I think the woods are overpowering that greenness is what I get with this one. But there's also this kind of a, unique i shouldn't say gourmand uh it's chestnuts so nutty but you know chestnuts traditionally to me don't smell like any other nuts they have this kind of unique smell to them there is this note in here and then there's also violet leaves but bet humane also has woods papyrus, cypriol, vetiver, pine, guyac wood, mastic resin, cumin, and sandalwood. So it's mostly a very, very woody fragrance. It's very, very earthy. It's ozonic. The violet leaves adds this ozonic smell. And to me, as I smell it on me, I get like this very, very bright greenness way in the background. As I said, screaming to get through the woods, but this dense woodiness, almost like coffee grounds earthiness kind of coming in. So I'm getting something coffee grounds like experience like if you've ever you know brewed coffee and thrown the coffee onto you know your soil or uh, earth that kind of combination of the the coffee grounds with the earth is what i'm getting with this particular fragrance with that whole greenness in the background the ozonic touches it's a very unique fragrance one i'm digging one other thing you should remember with this one that cumin it is not very prominent to me in fact it's a very very you know background player but it does come through anyway bet humane from liquid imaginaires is the first fragrance i'm going to talk to you about this next fragrance is probably one i've spoken a lot about in the last couple of days or weeks this is from the house of frederick mall this is promise so this one to me is so so prominent with that cypriol note and it will remind you of papyrus but it's definitely the cypriol note where it has this you know this uh, earthy woodiness and kind of vetiver um patchouli kind of combo but very very dry contrasted with like syrupy notes in here in here because there is that whole booziness that we get with this particular fragrance and also booze kind of aging as i mentioned earlier the you know these barrels the oak barrels where they're fermenting and aging and things like that it's actually really really delicious very very earthy very very woody but there's brightness with rose there's apples here there's a cypriol as i mentioned rose pink pepper patchouli labdanum, cloves, castorium, rosemary, and ambroxan. Quite a nice fragrance. You should def definitely check this one out if you like boozy fragrances with that kind of earthy woodiness of the uh, Cyp Cypriol notes. So this is Promise from the house of Frederick Malls. This next fragrance is from the house of Jack Perfume. This is Piccadilly 69. Does anybody know this house? This is a brand started by an actor, a British actor, and there were three or four fragrances in the collection. This one I actually bought from London. I brought it back with me from London, and I liked it for its uniqueness and the notes that are in here. This one is f full of Cypriol, but there's a freshness about it that it doesn't overwhelm with its earthiness, but there's loads of that Cypriol in here. Very, very interesting combination of notes as well because there's ginger in here, there's an oil note in here because it has this kind of oily kind of consistency. So you've got this kind of earthy woodiness contrasted with all these kind of different notes that kind of balance out the overdose of earthiness from the Cypriol. So it's Cypriol, bergamot, mate, oil, ginger, green notes, cedar, amber, and leather. So yeah, it does settle to an ambery, leathery, woody base, but you've got that earthiness with loads of uh, Cypriol and then of course some green touches from the mate this kind of unique kind of a tea earthy once again it's a very earthy experience with this particular fragrance all of these are going to be very very earthy fragrances but definitely focusing on the woodiness and the 
earthiness. So this is Jack Perfume Piccadilly 69. All right, this next fragrance is a designer fragrance and one targeted to men, but definitely wanted to highlight it. And this is Alfred Dunhill's Century. So this fragrance I've done reviews for and mentioned in several videos that it reminds me of Santal 33. So this is something I was going to mention at the beginning. I totally spaced on it, but here I am going to mention it now. If you know Santal 33, you probably already know know what Cypriol and uh, papyrus smells like because Santal 33 features this prominent scent, uh, cyp uh, cyp not Cypriol, but papyrus note. And of course, as I said, Cypriol papyrus are kind of sort of similar in smells. So you kind of have an idea of the smell. This to me doesn't have papyrus, it has Cypriol, but it reminds me of a unique take on Santal 33. It is for men, but then again, Santal 33 is a unisex, so women can totally pull this one off. But this to me, it has that Cypriol note in the background, that earthiness, that unique kind of mustiness, but it's contrasted with these bright notes. There's neroli, it's a you know citrus flower here, kind of brightens up the whole experience. And even though you've got the Cypriol, you also have sandalwood in here, so it is definitely woody and it is earthy. You've got this very, very prominent uh, citrus floral note that really does balance out the fragrance and it doesn't get so woody, you know, weighty, in, if that makes sense. So in addition to the Cypriol, neroli, sandalwood, you've got musk, olive Banum, cardamom, mandarin orange, bergamot, grapefruit. And then I've always mentioned when I speak about this one, it's very clean and sometimes to me it smells like laundry, like freshly laundered sheets and clothes and things like that. Very unique fragrance. I think uh, this is unique for a men's fragrance. It doesn't smell like a lot of different men's fragrances in that it does remind me of uh, Santal 33, as I said. But then again, is it kind of clonish or were they inspired by that fragrance? Could be. But uh, once again, this has a little bit of a uniqueness in comparison to the Santal 33 that it has that neroli note to take it into a different direction. So Century from Alfred Dunhill or Dunhill is a, another fragrance. I forgot to mention I'm not ranking this list because these are so different. I'm just highlighting these Cypriol Nagarmotha fragrances for you guys so you can find out and go ahead and ch perhaps check these fragrances out. Moving on to a completely different style of fragrance, going to the house of Penhaligans. This is Cairo. Here we have a uh, kind of a rosy sweet fragrance with the Cypriol note added to it. And another one from Penhaligon's also, a Babylon, also has the Cypriol note, not as much as this one. I left that one off because that one is more about vanilla with that kind of Cypriol note in the background. This one you experience the Cypriol a lot more than the vanilla with the rose. It's kind of a rose Cypriol kind of gourmand, but it's gourmand light, not fully going to the gourmand direction. More, I would say, like an amber experience, but this is rose, Cypriol, vanilla, labdanum, saffron, sandalwood, patchouli and cedar. A great, great fragrance. I, I really like this. In fact, I love this a lot. Up until Babylon came out, it kind of like won me over. But still, I think it's a great smelling fragrance. And this one definitely has the rosiness in comparison to Babylon, which doesn't have the rosiness. So Cairo from the House of Penhaligans, a great smelling fragrance. Moving on to the House of YSL, we're going to the Le Vestiaire collection. This is Splendid Wood right here. So this is a very designer woody fragrance in that they use these very very kind of unique notes that are kind of very adventure adventurous in comparison to your you know conventional you know Macy's counter designer fragrances but to me even though they're using those notes it's very very simplistic uh, just a little edgy whereas it could totally go totally edgy if that makes sense but this has oud cedar cypriol cardamom incense rose and jasmine sandback so this particular one to me uh, the cypriol is there but it's mostly oud cedar and cypriol but but as I mentioned earlier, Cypriol is sort of kind of cedar-like. It's very dry and also kind of like shaved woods kind of experience. So this is what this fragrance is all about. But you got that cardamom coming in to add some aromatic spice to the fragrance. There's a little bit of a light smoke that comes in, kind of like a church smoke in there that contrasts the 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 woods uh, and the woodsy experience of this particular fragrance. And then very lightly, you've got some rose and jasmine sandback. The rose and jasmine sandback add a little brightness to kind of balance out the fragrance because you don't want this going ultra woody, if that makes sense, because this is 
in the end, a very, very woody experience. It's called Splendid Wood, but you have these kind of unique notes added to it to kind of balance it out, even though the experience is ultra woody. So Splendid Wood from the House of YSL in the Le Vestiaire collection. All right, going to the House of Amouage, this is Silver Oud. So this is very, very animalic and also very, very oody, but lots of Cipriol. So Cipriol, as I said, it's got this kind of mustiness about it, and uh, you know, it's it's unique note. I, I I really enjoy it because it's kind of like this note that has all these multiple personalities to remind me of all these different things. You know, the cedar, the patchouli, the vetiver, little pine, and all that kind of stuff. The spices that come through in there a little bit, the aromatics, all rolled into one. So you experience that full on in here, contrasted with lots of oud, lots of it. With castorium, there is definitely this animalic presence here. And of course, it's also smoky. The oud in here is smoky and I don't see, no, actually I, I take back, there's birch note in here and birch wood tends to have a smokiness, but I think the oud in here is also smoky. So in the end, it's very, very woody and animalic, but you have some light sweetness in here coming through from vanilla and amber. But on top of that, we've got some guyac wood as well. So this is overly animalic, overly intense, overly dense, uh, woody uh, kind of an experience with lots of unique things happening to it. So Silver Oud, it's a daring fragrance. If you don't like animalic fragrances, this one's probably one for you to stay away from. But if you like that idea, definitely check it out. And Cipriol is totally, uh, you know, the star here. It's what I experienced the most in this particular fragrance right next to the Oud. So Silver Oud from Amouage is a great fragrance for you to try. Go into the house of Sarah Baker. And this is this S. Baker collection. This is Symmetry. And Symmetry has loads of Cipriol along with Oud. And if you don't remember, if you watch my videos, you probably do. I did a video for Ludo, which is from Sarah Baker's original lineup. This is the S. Baker collection. I said Ludo used to be Symmetry. They took it and then made it into Symmetry. And I'm sorry, made it into Ludo. So Ludo also has Cipriol, but not as much as this one does. This one, you can totally smell the Oud, the Cipriol, and then of course the orange blossom in here as well, because it's a very, very citrus floral once again. And I like this combination, the woodiness, lightly animalic touch of the Oud, the Cipriol, its mustiness and its kind of earthiness. And then of course that orange blossom to contrast with it beautifully. But there's also some amber here, pettigran, bergamot, neroli, and musk. So it's a great fragrance whereas they've taken all these citrus notes of the, you know, the flowers, the leaves, and the, the fruit itself contrasted with these kind of more earthy, woody uh, notes. A great fragrance. It smells great. I think this one's definitely a little easier to wear than Ludo, although Ludo is more gourmand. Uh, they've taken it to kind of like a white chocolate gourmand direction. This one doesn't go there. So basically the citruses and the oud with Cipriol or you can go to Ludo and check that out as well. But this is one of the uh, better fragrances, at least to me, from this house. Symmetry from uh, Sarah Baker. Check that out if you don't know it. The next fragrance going to the house of uh, Nishane. This is Shem, this one right here. And once again, loads of Cipriol here, loads of its earthiness, its woodiness, its dryness. Contrasted with leather, there's Elemi here, there's Vetiver, Rose, Cardamom, Geranium, Amber, and all Samanthus. So there's a little bit of a fruitiness here. Rose adds brightness. The leather can be strong in this one, just like the Cipriol is, and then also the Elemi. So it's kind of a resinous, ambery, woody experience, but very, very earthy and also very, very floral. It's actually really, really beautifully blended. So there's not a lot of roughness, at least to me. And I think there, it's got a nice balance. So things are balanced out. And then I think from the wearing experience, I get that they're using high quality ingredients because sometimes when they're not that high quality, you can experience the roughness. This is smooth, it's a smooth ride. And the fact that it has Cipriol in the notes, it's kind of like a very, very cleaned up Cipriol. But a beautiful fragrance, Shem from the house of Nishane. Uh, check that out if you don't know it. Uh, we've, done, we've got a lot of ouds in this video. And if you're noticing, ouds are great companions to Cipriol. They really do complement one, one another and sometimes people tell me and I've actually experienced it as well that sometimes they think there's oud in a fragrance even though it's Cipriol and yeah I, I think it makes sense I think some perfumers can cheat us and say we're using uh, oud but it's actually Cipriol if that makes sense so this next one is from the house of Ramon Monegal this is Soul of Oud this is a very very intense 
and slightly animalic oud experience but more gourmand than silver oud but still animalic if that makes sense so it's got loads of you know oudiness it's a dense fragrance and whenever oud woods even cipriol are you know you know loaded up in the fragrance the fragrance wearing experience becomes dense you know you always need some balance in this one it's oud dark chocolate rose cipriol osmanthus birch nutmeg vetiver amber cedar musk and coriander loads of stuff happening but the oud is overwhelming the cipriol is overwhelming it's nicely balanced with dark chocolate to give it that kind of like sweet touch rose to give it more bright and you know some brightness osmanthus to give us some fruitiness there is definitely some light fruitiness in here kind of like apricots and then of course there's smokiness as well and then some spices the smokiness comes from birch but either way check that out it's soul of oud from the house of ramon monogal and that's the 10th cipriol focused fragrance i'm talking about today i do have a bonus so stay till the uh, after the outro but let me know your thoughts on cipriol do you like this note uh, do you know cipriol nagarmo are you familiar with it? What are your favorite uh, fragrances featuring this note? Um, ones that I didn't uh, discuss today. Also, let me know if you're fans of these particular fragrances. I'd like to find out. Also, one last thing. Have you ever compared Papyrus to Cipriol? Is that something you find similar as well? Let me know. Put some comments down. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. I do have that one bonus and I have one of the old, old, early, early bottles from this house. This is a house that used to be called Bruno Fazolari. Now it's been rebranded as Fazotic. This is Lamp Black, one of the old, old original bottles. To me, this is a Cipriol spicy, fruity kind of a fruity as in citrus fruits kind of a bomb but you know even though people know this or associate this with vetiver and there's vetiver here I think that cipriol note in here uh, has its earthiness but it's taking on the characteristics of uh, vetiver in this particular fragrance so it enhances the vetiver in this particular fragrance you've got lots of spice there's definitely a you know, black pepper spice in this one and then there's that zingy spiciness of grapefruit citrus in here there's a little bit of sweetness from benzoin and then of course a little orange touch in there as well i think it's a great dark experience a dark woody earthy experience and it's vetiver but then it's also loads of cipriol with uh, its own unique characteristics so this is an old old bottle as i said this is no longer called bruno fazolari it's called fazotic uh, this is Lamp Black, probably his most popular uh, fragrance from this house. So that's uh, that's uh, Lamp Black from the house of Fazotic. And that is the bonus fragrance for you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Have a good one. Goodbye.